In Britain, the families of three female ISIS recruits say they could have stopped the girl from leaving London. They told British lawmakers on Tuesday that police failed to warn them of the danger. Charlie Daggett is outside the Houses of Parliament where family members testified at a hearing. Charlie, good morning. Well, good morning. What began as a hearing turned into a heated debate on how on earth three teenage girls managed to get to Syria and apparently join ISIS. This was all about blame and there was plenty to go around. Three weeks yesterday, the schoolgirls, 215 and 116, packed up and left London to join ISIS. Security camera footage in Turkey confirmed the very worst fears. They were on their way to Syria. We found out both. Well, so Sahima Begum told parliamentarians there is no inkling whatsoever her sister had been influenced by Islamic extremism. Not at all. My sister was into into any normal teenage things. She used to watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians and stuff like that. So I didn't. There was nothing that indicated that she was radicalized in any way. Not at home. The families blame police for not notifying them directly that another girl from the same school had run off to become an ISIS bride in December. Instead, police gave the girls a letter to hand to their parents. That never happened. Lawmaker Keith Vaz said the result was a huge propaganda coup for ISIS and a big blow to the credibility of London's police force. It needed that letter to go to the parents and the parents to be told that this was a situation not to hand the letter to a 15-year-old girl. And London's police chief could do little more than agree. It was intended for them and it failed and for that, of course, we're sorry. But sorry won't bring their girls back. They reportedly showed up in Raqqa, Syria, the headquarters of ISIS itself. Although police took the blame from the family, signs of the girls' plans may have been closer to home. After they left, one family found a list of things to take to Syria and on it they found socks, a cell phone and makeup. Gail? Boy, Charlie Daggett, thank you.